Steam trap is a mechanical device which traps the steam from steam line and allows accumulated condensate to pass out through it. This is an installation of thermodynamic steam trap piping in horizontal plane. Line is just installed and not yet insulated. This is the steam line having isolation valve, Y strainer, control valve and bypass valve. Through the steam line, steam will flow up to top of a vertical vessel. So, low point for condensate accumulation is before the line rising up to the vessel. At this low point, about 300 mm long, 3 inch or 4 inch branch pipe piece is provided below the steam line with blind flange so that accumulated debris can be cleaned after opening the blind flange. 1 inch tapping for steam trap line is taken from middle of vertical leg of this 3 inch or 4 inch line so that no debris will go to the steam trap. This is 1 inch steam trap line with isolation valve before steam trap for trap maintenance and this is 1 inch bypass line. Condensate flows through the steam trap and discharged to drain. This is an installation of steam trap piping in vertical plane. The line is insulated and the line is under operating condition. This is upstream isolation valve of steam trap, then steam trap and then the line is going to drain. This is steam trap bypass line with isolation valve which is also going to drain. This is another installation of steam trap piping in horizontal plane. This is upstream isolation valve, this is bypass valve and this is thermodynamic steam trap. Now we will see how thermodynamic steam trap works. At startup, air and condensate enters the trap through the strainer where particles are screened. Then condensate pushes up the disc and discharge through the peripheral outlet. While discharging due to narrow peripheral area, its velocity increases and pressure decreases and some part of condensate flashes to steam. This flash steam is accumulated in the control chamber. In this condition, upward force on the disc equals to inlet area into incoming pressure of steam or condensate and downward force on disc equals to flash steam pressure in control chamber into disc top area. Since disc top area is much more than inlet area, downward force become higher which push the disc to come down and flow path is closed. After some time, the entrapped steam inside the control chamber gets condensed due to radiation heat loss and the cycle gets repeated. That means incoming condensate again pushes the disc up and starts flowing out. Thermodynamic traps are most widely used due to small size, wide pressure range, resistant to water hammer and extremely robust having simple mode of operation with only one moving disc. Now you can see how thermodynamic trap works and condensate go through it after pushing up the disc and the flash steam 
is accumulated in the control chamber and closes the disc. Now you can see that steam is coming out from the steam trap continuously. It is due to the flash steam which comes out from the steam trap along with the condensate. 